Today, I'm sharing five ways to lower your Xfinity bill with or without cutting the cord. Let's save you some money. Number one is to downgrade your Xfinity plan. And I'm going to talk about both TV and internet service here. If you are still paying for Xfinity TV service, the best way to lower your monthly bill is to cut the cable TV cord and switch to streaming. You can always keep your internet plan with Xfinity. YouTube TV is my top recommendation for first-time streamers. The service offers more than 100 of the most popular cable TV networks and also your local stations for a price that's typically cheaper than cable. If you're not quite ready to switch to a live TV streaming service, you can always downgrade your Xfinity TV plan to Limited Basic, which is also called Choice TV. This is a bare bones plan though. It includes only about 10 networks, mostly your local stations. Now, aside from TV service, you may have an opportunity to save money by switching to an Xfinity internet plan with lower data speeds. Now for most households, Xfinity's 200 megabits per second plan is fast enough. Just keep in mind that when you have more devices connected to your Wi-Fi network at the same time, you're typically going to require a higher data speed. The bottom line is that many households pay for gigabit internet service because they've been talked into it by a salesperson, not because they actually need those speeds for basic streaming and browsing the web. Number two, buy your own equipment. Did you know that you can stop renting and buy your own equipment from a list of supported devices that Xfinity provides on its website? From my research, you can expect to pay about 150 bucks for a router modem combo. That $150 that you pay upfront to own your own equipment that is actually less than a year of Xfinity's rental charges. I bought a Motorola Gateway back in 2018 to eliminate this fee, and I do not regret it. Number three, switch to Xfinity Mobile. Signing up for Xfinity Mobile is a smart way to save up to 30 bucks per month on your Xfinity internet service. If you're not familiar, Xfinity Mobile runs on Verizon's network, and it uses Xfinity's Wi-Fi hotspots. When I first reviewed Xfinity Mobile back in 2017, Few people ever expected the service to be as popular as it is today, with more than 5 million customers. Back then, my Xfinity mobile bill was only about $15 per month. The rates have changed over time, but the service remains affordable and reliable. I really don't hear a lot of complaints about it. Know that Xfinity Mobile is exclusively for Xfinity Internet customers, so for that reason, you only want to switch to this if you do not plan on leaving Xfinity anytime soon. We're up to number four, and that's to check ACP eligibility. Some households may qualify for free Xfinity Internet service, and that is through the government's Affordable Connectivity Program, also called ACP. The program offers up to a $30 monthly credit on your internet plan. And right from Xfinity's website, you can shop for a plan, check your eligibility, and then enroll in the program through Xfinity. We're up to number five, and that's to renegotiate your Xfinity bill. If you're tired of seeing low introductory offers for new Xfinity customers while your bill only goes up and up, it is time to give Xfinity a call. I've been able to negotiate with Xfinity and other providers over the years, Here's how I do it. First, find a better offer from a competitor. This is easier than it used to be thanks to new 5G home internet services from T-Mobile and Verizon that are affordably priced. Call the number listed on your screen and then ask to speak to the customer solutions or the retention department. And third, share the competitor's offer and ask for a better deal. Tell the representative that you're thinking about switching and ask them nicely what can be done to lower your bill. In addition to being polite, I suggest that you call early in the morning, and that's so you avoid having to wait a long time on hold. And if you strike out, call back another day and speak with a different agent. Bill negotiation services like Trim and Rocket Money, they'll do this work for you, and I've got experience with Trim, but these services take a cut of any savings that they're able to obtain. So for that reason, I suggest that you try to negotiate on your own, first. But if you are not successful, maybe it's time to think about breaking up with Xfinity and moving on to other options. Thanks for watching.